by Clayton Newts. It's Monique Wiseman, the Aboriginal Program Manager at Wayside Chapel. Firstly, I'd just love to say thank you, a big thank you, actually, to giving the, uh, I suppose, the funds and what is required to create community of and them and create an incredible community, which is so strong and so proud with this mob up here. We've seen so many incredible transformations and positive journeys being able to um, enable a, a safe, uh, appropriate space for our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community to come together as one, um, to walk beside each other through, through grief, through loss, but also through achievement of just being able to share a meal, um, possibly see somebody housed for the first time or be able to share their story from where they've come from to what brought them firstly to King's Cross to be able to have a positive journey to go beyond um, and show the world that they are just a, a very important piece of the puzzle in this great place of ours. So thank you Clayton Mutes for your contribution and your ongoing support. It means the world to the mob and certainly me. It makes me very, very proud to be part of this incredible community. Hello, my name is Joan Wyman. Um, I've been in King's Cross going to Wayside since the old building in 97. Um, it's good to have um, a quarry space at Wilcan, I mean in Wayside, only because now we get um, caseworkers that will work with, with us one on one. Um, it's been good, it's still open, it has been for five years, and everyone's enjoyed it. <laughs> the weekly um, Aboriginal Project lunch um, coming together. Everybody can um, come and share a meal and speak and I'm Jo Black. What we do here is talk to people and take their stories. Molly's idea is that if the Aboriginal space at Wayside has a record of people's stories, it's something that the Aboriginal space can hold a copy of for the people so that they can give it to their family at some stage or so they can hold it and they have a record of what's happened to them, of the joys in their life and the lows and how they've overcome them. And then 2010 was transferred to the public. Are you writing for us? Sure, I'm from I'm from Queensland, but I've been living in New South Wales for about 16 years. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's a development thing, you know, we got to know you know, I mean, uh, people who, you know, drugs and alcohol, you know, I'm away from nothing, I'm happy, stuff like that, you know. Um, my name's Andrew, um, we've been coming here for three years, and I've come here basically for the service, um, direct help with a lot of things like housing, um, court matters, um, getting in and out of jail, finding other resources and like referrals and just general support. I've been doing that for three years. It's over that three years I've been out of jail for that three years. So we're out in this place is it's important. You know, on a level of, of knowing where I am and where I'm going. Like I've got children. Um, the, the place here helps me like keep me maintained as, as an Aboriginal man. Because it's an Aboriginal project. So I'm a sitter and I'm a volunteer. Today I'm cooking, so my role is normally what's called brunch surprise with Mari. And today I've got a whole container of sweet potato. And so I'm going to mix some smoked chicken and some sausage and onion and garlic and make the soup or whatever turns out. Yeah. My intention is when they walk yeah, up the stairs in the morning that they've got the smell of onion or something and they can feel like they're, they're coming. Yeah.
I've been coming in for uh, for uh, yeah. a few years now. Yeah, you make make you make mm. yourself make yourself safe and have fun. Yeah. 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 Uh, my name is William Gordon, I'm um, Aboriginal Project Officer. Um, every Friday we do a bit of boxing and fitness. So um, the aim is just to get everyone around the area included, doesn't matter what level they are boxing, and um, have a bit of fun, learn a bit of skills, a bit of self-defence, and do a little bit of fitness. Uh, getting people out of their comfort zone. So we've got a lot of people who, who I'll talk outside here, probably wouldn't say much to me, but when they come up here, they, they're full of talk and, and they want to do a bit of training. My name is Alan and I've been coming to Wayside for over about six and a half, maybe seven and a half years. I've been back and forth from Wayside and all the homes here. Wayside's provided me with um, a, a lot of support for health. Well, um, I was supposed to do just uh, cardio workouts, like a little bit of like martial arts type of workouts and that just to keep people fit and feeling confident in themselves, you know.